okay guys we are at the upper lake view point you can see the entire lake it has a almost a six kilometers perimeter star shaped lake built back in 1862 by the british what a nice view here panoramic and you can hear tamil music in the background we are off to explore the city this is the first spot in the way let's see what else holds there is a green valley viewpoint from here let's see this is the lake star shaped lake now we have reached the moyers point it is built in memory of thomas moyer britisher this is the memorial for thomas moyer and nice big indian bison statue look at the size of this guy <laughs> very common sight here indian bison in the wild they grow up to very huge sizes of almost some 2000 kilos i believe although they look intimidating they are pretty shy might attack sometimes but most often they are quite shy ashwik has gotten some new sunglasses oh look at this view just have a look at this view guys oh wow that is entire clouds have descended down to the earth it's like heaven look at this cloud ashwik is enjoying the sight of monkeys Where are the clouds, Ashwik? Yes, good boy. So this place is known for this clouds descending. You can see the border. So Moyers Point is a must visit, I guess. Look at the eucalyptus trees in the background. Nilgiri. So this place is famous for its pine trees and nilgiri tree. Wonderful sight. Uh, you have a ticket, ten rupees for adult and five rupees for the kid. So not much, but the view is certainly worth it. Let's head to the next point. Now entering the pine forest. Look at this. look at the amount of trees here wonderful canopy of pines coniferous forest you can even ride here with a horse but we are not going to do that lots of cameramen here but we have been advised against buying this say look at the roots here very old trees it's pretty cold what a pattern if you fancy a horse ride you can go for that ashwik is enjoying strolling into the forest wonderful wonderful view don't miss this point similar to the one i visited in kodia uttarakhand that is in kanatal another coniferous forest lots of horses to ride you can even go for a walk very cold so the guna caves is around 1 km from here that is the devil's kitchen uh those caves are supposed to be deadly that is why it's known as devil's kitchen some people uh died there due to some some probably some miscreants 
not following the rules and now it's closed for the public but you can visit the caves uh, and look at it from the outside this is a very extensive forest some 50 acres of pine brilliant so we'll check the other spots while Ashwik is busy posing so now we are entering the Guna Caves lots of monkeys here the ticket is around 10 rupees for adult and 20 extra rupees for the camera monkeys will leave you alone if you don't have any food so better not carry any oh there some kind of tussle going on oh my <laughs> so you get to see live tussle on our channel live monkey tussle Again, you get uh, eucalyptus trees and pine forest. So the story goes that this caves are named after Kamla Hassan's movie Guna, which was shot in this caves. From there on, the official name is Guna Caves. The Britishers had named this as Devil's Kitchen because many people died inside the caves slightly irresponsible people and probably miscreants so now they have officially closed the caves for entry some about 38 people died in an year or so but you can just wander around outside the caves nice view very cold right into the forest you can have a walk here until the caves and then you are not allowed inside so this is what Kodai Kennel is famous for you can see that the mist starts here the clouds descend on the earth here at Kodai Canal. So, very misty. Look at the roots of these trees. This is what it is famous for. Huge, old, ancient trees. And look at the pattern of the roots. Very good place to click photos. Just have a look at this, guys. Look at how old that tree might be. Although the caves, you can't enter the caves, but you can surely enjoy this route. Again here you have this photographer, but we have been advised not to take from them. The prints don't last very long. So these roots are everywhere on the root. Roots on the root. Look at the mist. Whoa. Looks like a haunted movie. Let's go up this canopy and see the view. And cannot see anything due to clouds. Yay, warrior! And 
all the clouds have descended <laughs> variety of street food banana pakoda cauliflower pakoda egg pakoda bread pakoda and omelet bread this one piece is for how much this is jamuna if you like this video please like subscribe and comment on this video check out my other videos thank you